Hey friends, today we are in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and we are going to be going to Dutch Wonderland. I am so excited to be going here. It's my first time. This park has been around since 1963. It has over 35 attractions, including some amazing roller coasters, and it's actually voted one of the most family-friendly parks. So, let's go do this. To get inside the park, you have to go through the castle that is surrounded by a moat and take a look at what is to the left of the castle. It is a monorail that circles the whole park and then a dragon that kind of, it's, a, it's an animatronic dragon. Look at that. I cannot wait to ride this. This is one of the highest rated family parks. So of course, my family's here. It's gonna be a fun family adventure. Yeah, it is. This is such a beautiful castle. And I love that we have to cross the drawbridge and there is an actual moat that goes right around the whole entire like front of the castle here. I love it. The water's nice too. I wouldn't mind swimming in there even. You enter and exit through the front of the castle and inside the castle is a gigantic gift store. So we're definitely gonna come back and check this out when we leave, but I wanna get right into the park. This is so beautiful. Once you walk through the castle, this is where you actually hand in your tickets and I love the theming. It's gonna be such an amazing day. I am so excited for this. As we walked in, we got a pin. This is the grand opening weekend. Today's the grand opening day actually for the season. So I'm very excited to be here. As soon as you walk in, it looks like they got a train set up here and then a skyway that goes through one of their roller coasters. That's gonna be interesting. The first ride that I think we're gonna head to is Dragon's Lair, and that was the boat ride that goes along the moat on the outside. I seen it with the big animatronic dragon, and I was like, okay, that seems interesting. And then we're gonna hop on some coasters. Bonnie and Mom are gonna ride together, and I'm gonna get my own boat, it looks like. Fancy. Welcome to the Dragon's Lair, home of Duke the Dragon. One of Duke's favorite things is to play hide and seek with his friends. I'm so excited, look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. And you're right out on the street too. This is the entrance way actually to where we came in. Wow. This is such a nice ride. It's so peaceful out here. Oh my Lord. There he is, there's Duke the Dragon. He's shaking his head right now. This is great. We're about to go in the cave over there. I love it. This is a fun, fun. I love boat rides though. Mom, do you like it? <laughs> it's also fun because we have to find all of Duke's friends. So now we need to look for Tucker the Tortoise. Do you guys see Tucker the Tortoise? Look at this. We're coming face to face. The eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water! <laughs> oh, they're talking. You can hear Duke. That was a fun little boat ride. And you know what I was thinking? Jungle Cruise is an outdoor boat ride. So I have seen many of those before, but I don't see them often. Ma, what'd you think about Duke's or the Dragon Lair? Oh, I love that. Did you like it? Oh, train's coming here. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, no. Look at that. How amazing. Now I think we're gonna head on over to Merlin's Mayhem. That one looks like such a fun roller coaster, but I do wanna point out the train here because the train goes inside of a barn and it's lit up really pretty, so I'm excited to come back and ride that. Look at that, isn't that cool? It goes inside there and it's kind of like a cave. That's gonna be real fun. One of the things I wanna point out before we head in the park today is 
the park like rules about mask and everything like that is to obey the CDC requirements and the CDC requirements say that if you're fully vaccinated you don't need to wear your mask outside so I think we are gonna do that for any outside rides but I still get used to wearing my mask anyway so we'll just see how the day goes this park has such a pretty landscape the carousel and just the trees the skyway up there it's very nice it's a very nice relaxed park here it is merlin's mayhem oh look they have like a little uh, pre-show like entertainment this is such a cool themed ride basically you have to watch out for mayhem which is merlin's pet dragon and it tells you public notice mayhem is missing if he is seen contact merlin and look at that this is going to be a fun ride Merlin's Mayhem was a fun ride. I couldn't bring the camera on, so they actually supplied me with some POV footage so you could see what the ride is like, but I like it. And it's a family inverted ride, so kids can actually ride that. I think that's amazing. Now I think we're gonna head on over to the monorail. I'm excited for this because this gives you a bird's eye view of the whole entire park. So we're gonna be able to scope out the next place we wanna go to. Here it comes into station. Definitely looks a little bit different compared to the monorails we normally get to see. I like it though. It's very fancy. This is so much fun. I never got to sit in the back of the monorail or the front before. Look at us here. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Look at this. I love it. Look, here's the boat that surrounds the park. It really does go all the way around. That is amazing. Now we're coming up on one of the other roller coasters here. Take a look at this bad boy. A nice purple wooden roller coaster. I can't wait to ride it. Now we get a good look at the actual entrance in the castle. I love it. Look at this. Now we're coming up on Duke. That was a fun monorail ride and it did its purpose. So now we mapped out a plan. We want to do the boats. We want to do the turnpike cars. We want to do the wooden roller coaster, the train. So now we kind of have a, a sense of direction. Yeah. I also like how they have these little storybook houses just giving you a little bit of an Amish story. Really pleased her. My Mary is proud and a good girl too. And I yay yay but Joey and Sammy will miss their big sister after she marries. I guess too. But her Dan is a good man and can make himself into some fine farmer someday. Such a strong boy he is now. Yes. Well it takes hard work yet to amount to something. Now tell me, does Mary get a shoe fly pies made enough? 
My Rebecca has the first time with hers. Bread she bakes like her mom and grandma. But the shoe flat pies don't make for her still. So spoodily. Oh, it wonders me if she has the colic. Oh. As we walk through this park, I have to say the kid rides here are on another level. I love it. They have a Duke's bulldozer kid ride and also a panda party kid ride. This park is amazing for the kids, I have to tell you. Look at this. Look at those bulldozers. Kids love that. I mean, I love that. If I can sit in there, I would definitely give it a ride. And then take a look at the pandas over here. You get pandas and honeybees. Now, though, we're heading to the Kingdom Coaster. That's that bright purple wooden coaster we saw. I've been excited and eyeing up since we came past it. Just take a look at the entranceway. Oh, this is going to be fabulous. I am very excited to ride this. There it goes. Soon it's going to be us. Oh, boy. Here we go. Huh? <laughs> oh boy. This is also my first coaster without a mask on. How awesome is that? Oh boy. <laughs> That was a fun little kingdom coaster. I love it a lot. It's like a classic wooden roller coaster and it, it just, it, it really was like one of the best wooden roller coasters I've ridden before. I mean, Knobles has the best, but like that one, it was up there for me. I like the color and I just like the way it felt. Now we're gonna cross the bridge to Exploration Island. Exploration Island. Exploration. <laughs> Exploration. <laughs> Down here on Exploration Island, Exploration Island, they have a gondola cruise. It's like a boat around, and then also the turnpikes, the antique cars. But what caught my fancy is the prehistoric pathway. They have a bunch of animatronic dinosaurs in the woods. I think that's so fun. So I think we're gonna go on a little prehistoric adventure at Exploration Island. Mom's taking it off road and now. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all the big trees and all these amazing dinosaurs. This is gonna be fun. Oh, fun. Bonnie, there's a bunch of pterodactyls above you. Ah. <laughs> Look at the triceratops. That is so awesome. Oh. Oh. I think it understood me. I think it's actually motion censored because when I walk up to them, it's when they actually start moving. <laughs> it sounded just like me. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Watch out, Mom. This one bites, actually. You gotta stop right there. Welcome to Jurassic Park. No, no, no. Those are real cows up there. How funny is that? Look at this one with the hands. <laughs> Luckily, this one's a vegetarian. But not that one. Get out of here. Forget about them. Forget about them. Right. Left. Right. 
What? That was a fun prehistoric pathway. I really do like the dinosaurs and I like the one with his little, with his hands and he was, Row! Row! Are you judging me? Not at all. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I saw a Dole Whip stand on the way in. Mm -hmm. You never had an actual Dole Whip I've though, did you? actual Dole Whip, no. I think we're gonna have to do that. It's sad that you're gonna get your first Dole Whip at Dutch Wonderland, but I hope it's just as good. Let's hope so. Before we actually get a Dole Whip, we came across a Dutch Wonder House. And honestly, it kind of just made me wonder and I want to see what it's like. So I think we're going to do that first and then Dole Whips. Look at this. A Dutch Wonder House. Do you even know what to expect? No, but I'm wondering. You're wondering? Uh, that's what I just said. You're trying to steal my puns, aren't you? He just said, if you get scared, just close your eyes. I think I'm already scared just by him saying that. <laughs> Look at this. They're sitting on a bench. Are you nervous? <laughs> what is happening here? Uh, this is so amazing! Oh my lord! <laughs> I love it! This is one of the coolest things I think I've ever done before. Kind of gives you a, a weird G-force feeling, doesn't it? That was absolutely mind-blowing. So you sit inside the benches here. They don't move, but the whole house spins around you. I love it. That Wonder House is probably my favorite attraction here. I was just speaking to, I think he was the park director, and he said that the original owners made that themselves. And there are other Wonder Houses out there, so let me know in the comments, have you ever rode a Wonder House before? Or something like that, because I loved it. I am hooked, and now I want to find as many as possible. But here we are, the Dole Whip Junction. And we're gonna get Bon Bon her first Dole Whip. There we go, Bonnie, cheers. Look at yours though, <laughs> I got gypped. Holy moly, look at this. I got vanilla because I wanted you to try both of them, but mom got a Dole Whip too. But look at Bonnie's. I think they gave her like the biggest, like, come on. Uh, there's something wrong here. Yeah, I know. So, what do you think? It's good. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's good? Flop? Flop? Well, mine is delicious. Mine is delicious. Yep. <laughs> and on the ground. And covered in pineapple juice. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Oh, <laughs> Dole Whip down. It's definitely not as good as Disney's Dole Whip and they serve it in Dippin' Dots container. Yeah, well, Come on now, what is happening here? He ain't no Dippin' Dots. <laughs> Now that we've got our official Dole Whip fix, I think we're gonna come back and go on the sky ride. I really would love to see this park from a higher angle. Even though we already did the monorail, that seems like so much fun. Gonna stand right here. Whoop! It's coming in. Oh, it's coming in. I'm sitting out. Oh, center. Can we get in the center? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't ridden one of these except for the ones at Disney and these are completely different. Like this is a whole nother level. A little bit scary because I mean I know these aren't the actual cables but do you see how they're like wiggling a little bit? <laughs> oh, 
sky rockets in flight afternoon delight oh my mom chickened out she was like there is no way i'm getting on one of those she doesn't like heights i wonder if bonnie's got oh bonnie did come there she is back there hi bonnie <laughs> Bonnie came though. My mom was like, no way. No, no. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. The roller coaster is gonna come right next to our faces almost. we are sitting here I figure I might as well tell you something cool that I found out there is a Disney character warehouse right here in Lancaster just like five minutes away from here so I think maybe we'll check that out after we leave here the park closes at six o'clock today's opening day but that's it that's a decent time for like a kid park Ooh, someone's screaming on the roller coaster over there that's how I was though so I'm not gonna lie wooden roller coasters scare me so much but I love them I love the thrill and I love just like that 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 rush you know what I'm saying oh take a look at this they have a Dutch Wonderland Grand Prix down there oh it's awesome you can actually drive your own cars around it's starting to get really windy up here <laughs> Bonnie is probably freaking out back there are you freaking out she's freaking out She's freaking, she don't like that wind. Yeah. She's freaking out. I know her. She's like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> we just stopped. Look at, like, I don't know if you guys can hear it because like we're up here, but the wind is like going probably at least 20 miles per hour. So like we're swaying back and forth. <laughs> oh, there we go. My shoes are dirty. I need to wash them. Look at that. Bum 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 ba da da da. Ooh, look at the footsteps. These feet were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, my feet aren't gonna walk that way. Oh, <laughs> your step, okay? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you too. <laughs> We missed quite a few of the shows today because it is opening day, so they we're doing basically rehearsals on some things. But one show I definitely wanted to catch is the bear show, and it's kind of like the Country Bear Jamboree, and that's what I like. The Bubba Bear Band. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. Clap feet and stomp hands. Fiddle it, Skeeter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, those guys were amazing. Did you like them? Yeah, good. The band? I know, it, it did remind me of the Country Bear Jamboree, but also the, the band at Chuck E. Cheese as well. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So amazing. I believe we have time for one more ride, maybe on the double splash flume. <laughs> I'm excited. I hope it's not a double splash, like we're gonna get soaked splash. I don't know, it's not looking promising here. I'm gonna watch one boat go down. We may get wet. I was very hesitant to ride this ride. Bonnie was like, no, we're not gonna get wet. We're not gonna get wet. That's no, what she said. Well, we'll see. I feel like I feel like we're gonna get wet. <laughs> oh boy. Center. Center. There we go. Now to board the moving walkway. <laughs> Oh boy, this is our first splash. This is part one of the double splash. Oh no, soaked. Oh, what is that, Bonnie? What is that? My feet, you gotta keep them up. <laughs> 
You gotta keep your feet up. Hike them up. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh, we go in a little tunnel too. Well, this is nice. Very relaxing. Well, this is a very nice boat ride or a flume ride. Uh oh. Look at that now. That is a drop and a half. Oh lordy. Oh boy. I should have sat in the back. <laughs> At least you get to see the whole park. Oh no, ah! it's happening! Oh! Ooh, the hat saved the day! My feet! Again! I forgot to keep them up! <laughs> <laughs> We didn't get that bad, but you definitely want to keep your feet up though. My feet are soaked. Nobody wants to be walking around a park with soggy feet. That's why we saved this for the end of the day, actually. We didn't mean to do that, but intentionally, I've always thought to do the water rise at the end of the day. So when she said, do you want to do this before we go? I was like, well, you know what? In fact, maybe I do. Maybe I do. <laughs> Look at this little frog hopper right here. And there's a little boy up there fishing. Honestly, if I was a kid, I would think that's kind of frightening. I don't know, what do you think? Frightening? Frightening. Well, now I think it's time we make our way out of the park. I didn't get that way, but I still had an amazing time here. Such a family-friendly park, honestly. Like, I come to these parks because my mom can't ride a lot of rides, and you know, the big thrill parks and stuff like that, she's not really into that. I had to convince her that she could do a lot of Disney, and now she loves Disney. I mean, she is obsessed with it. But before, like, I was like, Mom, it's okay, you can ride the rides at Disney. She was like, no, I don't wanna go. But now these kind of parks, she's always excited to come. So, we're gonna make our way out and cut through the gift shop that's inside the castle. Just wanna see what kind of nifty things they got. Thanks for visiting Kingdom for Kids. It is a big, big gift shop. Holy moly. Any who's, I think that is gonna do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It was so fun coming here and spending time with family and coming to a new theme park. I've never been here before. And it was so much fun. Like I said, this is in the top five family-friendly theme parks. Uh, I think I read that correctly. And so many kids rides and just everything you can do as a family together and that's amazing so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we will see you next time bye but wait i forgot the disney outlet this is only four minutes away from uh the actual park so that's really awesome